Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbing. And normally, Cindy and I open every episode, but right now, it's just me, and there's a reason for that. As you can see, we're at an Airstream rally, and if there's one thing Airstreamers love to do, and that is cook. And Cindy recently got a new little gadget called an air fryer, and she texted her friend, Denise, and who also has an air fryer, and what normally, you know what's gonna happen there, it turned into a smackdown war as to who could do the best air frying in their rig, in their Airstream. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the love sub and Cindy make some french fries, her best shot that she can do. We're gonna have Denise over in Rivet give her her best shot that she can do making french fries, and then we'll have our group to see who wins. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start this french fry smackdown. She's usually found in her RV baking sourdough bread and hates gimmicky kitchen gadgets. Will she master the air fryer or be tossed into the boulangerie of history? Meet Cindy. When not hiking, biking, or kayaking, she's in her kitchen perfecting the art and science of air frying. But will that be enough? Meet Denise. Okay, we're inside of Rivet here. Denise, tell us a little bit about your Airstream here. Well, our Airstream is a 2020 Caravel. And one of the cool things about the Caravel, the 2020, is that as you're going to see with Cindy's, this is basically 20 years later, our version of what Airstream has come up with. So you can see the rear corner galley and both Cindy and Denise loved to cook, so this galley is picture perfect made for them. And actually, even though this one looks really big, this Airstream, it's only 20 feet versus ours, which is 22 feet. But what's interesting is they have a dry bath versus our wet bath, so they have a separate shower. But what they lose in that, as you can see their bed goes port and starboard versus ours that goes fore and aft. And I think they lose the dressing table. So that's kind of the differences between uh, the Car 20 Caravel and the 22 foot International AS. And, and the dinette that we kind of like. Hey Rich, what's the AS stand for? That is an excellent question. So when we bought our Airstream, actually our Airstream was one of the first models that have the aluminum interior of the modern era. And they designed two interiors. One, the Airstream design team designed and they call that the AS and the other one was designed by Christopher C. Dean and they call that the CCD and they were going to let both of them run to see which one would survive. Okay. Ours lasted like two years and the Christopher C. Dean is basically you can see the touches with the metal roof, the Lucite cabinets, everything that was in that original Christopher C. Dean has continued on whereby ours is like that grandma's air stream. <laughs> I like your air stream it's cozy. That's what we, you have. They have no mouse fur. How can you have an airstream without mouse fur? We have no mouse fur. <laughs> it's a Christopher C. Dean one. Exactly. Ready to get in some cooking? Oh, yeah. All Bring right, it so on. what's your concept? Well, I do have a secret weapon. I have a potato, potato scrubber. Ooh. We're going to scrub up the potatoes. I'm cooking my french fries with the skins on. Okay. In a light oil with salt and pepper and one secret ingredient. Okay. And that would be? Sugar. Ah. Mm. Okay. And that crisps them up, they say, right? It's supposed to brown them up. And I have found, I've tried all oils, but I've found that this Crisco works better than anything else. Okay. And you got to go easy. Yep. I think with the air fryers, they say you have to do that, right? Mine didn't come with that instruction. Hmm, okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and describe your air fryer for us. What have you got? Well, we had, we've got this air fryer this year on Black Friday. A friend of ours found it for us. Apparently, it's a Bella Pro Series. It comes with all kinds of things that it can do, but it has a really big basket. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's... It roasts, it broils, it bakes and reheats, and it has a french fry setting. Ooh. But I don't like the french fry setting. Okay. All right, so we've got the Airstream, we've got the equipment, we've got the concept. Let's go ahead and start cooking. Yes. All right, we're back in the love sub here, and I don't think you need a description of what the sub is, but you can kind of see the similarities between Rivet and the love sub. Yep, they're very similar. And what 20 years of Airstreaming has come up with. But let's go ahead and talk about your concepts and what you got going here. We got the three potatoes. We're going to peel them. And once we're peeled, we're going to use one of my secret weapons, which really? is 
the mandolin. And that makes for even fries when you slice them up. And that I hear is very, very helpful when you're using an air fryer. And I have another secret weapon that I'll be talking about later when we get to the second stage. Okay, so what kind of air fryer are you using? I am using a two quart Instapot Mini Vortex. So it's got So a, that's the same company that makes the Instant Pot? Yes, it's the Instapot. Let's go ahead and look at that basket. It's got a non-stick basket and this comes out for easy cleaning. And so I hopefully have a good air fryer to help beat this challenge. And of course, as always, we'll have links in the description below for both air fryers. Ready to All get the started? proceeds from uh, purchasing Denise's air fryer will go to us anyway. So, <laughs> <Exactly>. too bad. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get things started. Let's go. All right, this is the critical step, huh? Yes. So you just have to hold it firmly like that and give it a good push. All right. And you can see, it looks like I need to adjust my... Looking pretty consistent though, huh? Yes, they're looking pretty consistent. I need to adjust my thing. All right, let's go ahead and get mandolining. All right, so I've just chopped up three very large potatoes into what I like to call tiny finger size pieces because I've found that if they're bigger than that, they get to be too mushy and don't get crisp. How's Cindy doing? I won't tell. <laughs> <laughs> they know Cindy's my friend, right? Will you be friends after this? Uh... Uh, competition. You know, I am honored to be in competition with Cindy Collins because she is one of the best cooks I know. So yes, we will. Perfect. Alrighty. Rinsing. Fill in the gray tank. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to rinse these out until the water is completely clear. So that gets rid of all the starch. All right. And we're going to fill our holding tank by doing that, right? Well, we're going to try not to, so uh, we'll see how we do. And here's how to do it without filling up your gray water. Is you pour your rinse water into another container and dump that into the toilet. So we're just going to rinse these out until the water turns nice and clear. Plus, the other advantage to your system of pouring the rinse water down the black tank is the more fresh water you can get in your black tank, prior to dumping, the better. Exactly. One thing I experimented with was to see if having a wet potato would make a difference. And I found out that if I dried the potatoes, then they would absorb the oil and the salt and pepper better. Mm, that's like science. And that's like an experiment. Yes, I did. I, Rich, you would have been so proud yeah, of me. I know. I did a whole experiment on a couple different batches and I felt like when I dried the potatoes, they were crispier on the outside. Yep. That Sounds was like my plan. When the day comes that you use a null hypothesis, that's when we'll know. I've been paying attention to the Love 7 videos. Yeah. So what I decided to use for my oil was the Crisco, as I said before, just plain salt and pepper, a tiny bit of sugar. But what I figured out was that I needed to use a lot less oil than I thought. Originally, I eyeballed it and it was wrong. So now I'm using two teaspoons of oil per potato. Okay. This is also not exact. I just phoned in the order from McDonald's. Two dozen orders of fries. <laughs> so Steve, how many french fries have you eaten in the last couple of weeks? We've had a few. We've had a few. <laughs> french fries for breakfast, french fries for lunch, french fries for supper. <laughs> exactly. I think I'm in the same boat. <laughs> He's been a very good sport, but french fries is a food he really likes. Right. I mean. That's the advantage you've got, is that Steve is like a french fry connoisseur. To some extent he is, but he's also, he's also very forgiving. So I didn't get as much feedback as I would have liked. Yeah, On the other hand, my son Micah, he pouted when he didn't like the potato. Mm. <laughs> okay, here's my scientific amount of sugar. 
All right, in that goes. In it goes. All good. All right, I'm going to load up the potatoes into the oil. This is when this table comes in handy, when you need a little extra space. So is your air fryer preheating? It is not. No. Does Cindy preheat her air fryer? Wait. I'm not saying. <sighs> so what are you setting the temperature on? Well, my air fryer lets, it suggests that I do 400, but I go with, I choose the temperature and I take it down to 380 for 10 minutes. And then, or actually I do 380 for 20 minutes, sorry. And then 10 minutes on 400 to crisp them up. And that also, it depends completely on looks. If they start looking burnt at 10 minutes, I'm going to change up my plan. It's kind of, you know, in-flight correction. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta watch them. I open it up at least every five minutes to see. Yep. Mixing this stuff together, making it happy, letting it marinate. Just gonna let them sit for a little bit. All right. There's a few remnants, so we'll just cover them up. So try and get as much exposed surface area as possible. Yeah. Going in. Going, going in. Going in. Good luck. There we go. They do make a lot of noise. They do, yeah. All right, fry away. So my next secret is that I'm going to be adding a little bit of hot water technically boiling water to my fries before I put them in the air fryer. So that's going to pre-cook them a little bit. And they're going to sit in that for about 10 minutes. So these have been sitting for 10 minutes in the boiling water. I'm going to drain them off. And this next step is very important. You want your fries to be as dry as possible when you add the oil because water and oil don't mix. And there goes our gray tank. That's not luck. <laughs> And then you sort of want to lay them out on a towel or a paper towel, whatever you have. And just try to dry them as much as you can. I see a lot of people on the internet always ask how to hang your paper towel. See that Cindy's using them to dry. And you can see here we've got kind of a suction cup kind of thingy going. That hasn't moved at that all. That hasn't moved. That doesn't. That stays on while we travel. The uh, paper towel roll does not stay on while we travel because no. it will tend to unroll unless you secure it with something. I'm gonna go ahead and start up the air fryer. Do you preheat your air fryer? It preheats itself. All right. Gonna hit air fry. Temperature is at 375. Time I'm going to set it for is 10 minutes to start, and I usually do two cycles of that. Let's see how many fries my air fryer can take. All right, so we're ready to season up. By the time I finish seasoning up, the air fryer should be ready to go. All right, so first thing we're going to do is add about a tablespoon of olive oil. Why do you use olive oil? I like to use olive oil. Some people use avocado oil. Avocado oil is probably better just because it has a high smoking point. And so it's just whatever you prefer. A good shake of Kent Rollins original ranch seasoning. Kent Rollins is an awesome YouTuber. Comment yeah. below if you also watch uh, Cowboy yeah. Kent Rollins. Absolutely. And that's about the right amount. A little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of smoked paprika, salt, this is Himalayan pink salt, pinch that, and another 
another secret weapon. My Ugandan chili oil. What? You get to get your chili oil from Uganda? Yep. One drop. This stuff packs a punch. So it's saying add food, so I'm going to stir this up real quick and get this going. Alright, let me get my things so I can pull the basket out. people. So what was it that interrupted us? Oh, I think there were F-15s. I'm going to have to look at the footage. Okay. Well, in the meantime, while he was doing that, I did put the uh, fries in the basket. And they're doing their air fry thing. All right. Now, one thing I do want to talk about in a small space you need to make sure that your air fryer is away from the wall because it needs air to circulate behind it. And I would also recommend if you can have an open window next to it as well because that also helps the air circulate and it keeps the smells and stuff out of your stream. Right, and also keeps it on a hot day like today kind of a little less hot. Right. All right, as you can tell, Denise got her fans going, her <laughs> fantastic fans going. Let's see. What do you think? Oh. Looking good, Looking good, right? All right, we're gonna let them degrease a little while I load them up. And I'll toss the next batch in. Man, they smell good. Don't tell to Cindy I said that, but they smell really good. <laughs> okay, you're turning them? Yep, I'm turning them. This is actually the second time I've turned them. So you can see they're getting nice and golden brown. So we're going to sort of keep an eye on them for the second 10 minute mark and see when they're ready. So we're just going to turn them a little bit, get the guys that are on the bottom up to the top and we're going to stick them back in. I'm going to start it at 10 minutes, but we'll see if it takes that long. Okay. So the rules that we came up with was that each cook could prepare two different dipping sauces uh, to accompany their French fries. So what have you got, Denise? Well, my first sauce is going to be a yogurt lemon garlic sauce. Ooh, that sounds like good stuff. Yeah, it's got a little olive oil in it to lighten it up, but it's actually super healthy for you because it's not made with anything really heavy. Awesome. Yeah, it does have some salt and pepper and well, whatnot in it, but you gotta season it to make it good. All right, so what's the other one gonna be? Well. The other one is going to be spicy. Can I show you my secret ingredient that yes. I just found? Look, I was. Oh, cool. You got like a little pantry thing. Oh, have there. you seen You want to. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is really cool. I love it. Awesome. So, I was at the store the other day and I found oh. this. I was actually looking for a mix that I had heard from someone else that it was a little spicy, a little bit of lime and this they didn't have it at my store but i saw this and this is i don't know how to say it togarashi don't worry everybody on youtube will help you pronounce it please when you get please it wrong. help me because i have no idea but i tried it and it's very spicy so i'm hoping we have some spicy fans in the crowd tonight i'm going to mix this with a little bit of sour cream a little lime juice and a little apple cider vinegar salt and pepper and hopefully it's delicious again oh and a tiny bit of honey. Oh, you gotta have honey, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's perfect, it's perfect. So, I'll get started on that. All right, let's go ahead and make some sauces. All right, we're saucing it. So we're gonna have two sauces today. The first one is gonna be the Mississippi Comeback Sauce, which we tried when we were going through down south in Mississippi, and it consists of mayonnaise, chili, sauce, ketchup, spicy mustard, oil, soy sauce, black pepper, and a little bit of minced onion and garlic. So we're gonna do that one. It it, this can be a little zingy, but I've made it so it's not. So I should hopefully appeal to everybody. A 
my second sauce is another unusual sauce. This is a white barbecue sauce from Alabama that we tried when we went to Gibson's. That Big Bob Gibson's, Big, right? Big, Big Bob Gibson's. And how can you say Alabama without saying the other necessary statement that somebody from Alabama? Oh, War Eagle, definitely. So, uh, yes, Alabama white barbecue sauce. War Eagle. Or War Eagle. <laughs> Of Alabama white barbecue sauce. The ingredients are as follows. Mayo, rice wine vinegar. You can use any kind of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I just happen to have white rice wine vinegar. Horse radish, lemon juice, black pepper, and salt. So I'm gonna pour this one out. And this will be, our, this is a little looser than the other so one. So why did you make them the night before? Any reason or? Well, I made, I made this the night before just because it tastes better when the flavors meld and have a chance to, uh, assimilate in the fridge. Okay, those are going to be our sauces for today. And we're going to continue on with the air fryer. We're almost done. Okay, crew, so here's how this is going to work. We've got two french fries. We've not made any notification as to who made what. Go ahead and give them a try. See which one you like. There's one per rig here. So just, you know, grab one cup and if you get two of you, share it with your partner or friend. We've got more coming. This is just for the tasting. So. Just grab one, just taste the french fry itself, see which one you think is best. And we've got sauces too. Right, but judge on the french fry, not so much the sauces. You can try the sauces afterwards. And then on your the sticker, write either an A for this group, or a B for this group. Write it on the back, dump it in the blue beret, and you get to keep the sticker afterwards. How cool is that? So <laughs> one vote on per rig or one vote? No, one, one vote per person. One per okay. vote per person. Which so one's A and which one's B again? The one that says B is B. Oh, oh okay. The one that says A is A. I haven't been over there yet. Okay. Okay. Can he get a cup of fries? He's getting the next one. No. But keep them separate. Make sure <laughs> you know which one's A. the A's um, and the B's. Yes. I'm doing A first. Oh, yeah, oh, that's, that's a good, good idea. idea. Yeah, do, do no, I'll give one, you, one I'll give you B. Okay. you got to try it without sauce first. Yeah, try it without the sauce, because that's what you should be voting on is the yeah. french fry itself. And then and then try it with each of the different sauces. Mm. All right, Steve, what do you think? All right, this, this is, is Tin Goat Travelers, guys. Hi. This is this is the A uh, bucket. Yep. Really good. I, I wouldn't have known that's air fried. Yep. Good. Awesome. Mm. It's crunchy, it's crispy. Difference. How about our Rhode Island crew? How's, how, what's, uh, how's Rhode Island thinking about? Uh, My, the A one is crunchy, crispy. It's got a little spice to it. And the B one is also very nicely done. I would never guess they were done in an air fryer. They're very good, very tasty. It's going to be a hard decision. <laughs> how about our treasure? What do you think okay. there, Tim? So the A side was a little thicker, a little beefier. Yep. Fry and the B side, a little bit thinner and definitely spicier. Yep. So, so very, very, very deceiving for an air fryer. Oh, good, good. Mm. Tom, how is our newest air streamer doing? What do you think? We're doing good. Doing good. These are good. These are good. Is that A or B? B. I haven't tried the A yet. So is it like one thumbs up, two thumbs up? <laughs> But I, I can't compare no anything because job. it's got to, I got to try the other one first. It's very good. How about our, our, how about our group <laughs> photographer? So I'm working on the A fry right now, which is particularly oh. spectacular. Okay. As was the B. Good. <laughs> so I'll get to well, vote in secret shortly. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Well, the, the voting was super close. We all kind of voted. And I guess the spicy fries kind of came out just barely ahead. So the spicy ones with all the spices, the thin spices. So <laughs> thin Definitely both fries were awesome. Both fries were both absolutely. Were absolutely. The group has really enjoyed it. So, so hey, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you've made fries in your Airstream or anything with an air fryer and share it with the group. Because they come out with videos like this every Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.